Welcome. Today I will be teaching you something about forces and motion. Now before you continue any forward, I want you to go into the description and click on a link which takes you to a pre-test. So take the test, see what you already know about forces and motion and then come back and let's continue afterwards. So if you've already taken the pre-test, welcome back. Alright, so I'm going to start this particular topic by asking you three questions, okay? Question number one, what makes things or what keeps things at rest? Question two, what keeps things in motion? And question number three, what does a force do? So these three seem like very simple questions and I want to see what the answer to these things may be by doing a simple experiment, a simple demonstration. So I'm going to take a plank, this is going to act like my surface and here is going to be my object, okay? So let's see, what keeps things at rest? What should I do uh, to make sure that this, this, this thing does not move? Nothing, right? I don't have to do anything. So the answer for the first one is do nothing. Let's write that down. So the answer for the first one is do nothing, okay? Seems pretty easy. Let's go for the second one. What keeps things in motion? So what should I do to make sure this thing keeps moving? Hmm, well, that's easy, right? Just push it. I stop pushing, stops moving. I push it this way, it moves again. I stop pushing, it stops moving. So the answer for the second one seems easy as well. What keeps things in motion? A push or a pull. Or in other words, you need to apply a force. That means we have also answered our third question. What does a force do? Well, what does it do? It makes things move. I apply a force towards the right and the object moves towards the right. I apply the force to the left and the object moves towards the left. So I think we have answered all the three questions. Answer number two is what keeps things in motion? A push or a pull. The technical term for that is a force. Okay? Right? And then you have answer number three. What does a force do? Well, force makes things move in the same direction. That means if I take an object, I push it this way, I push it this way, then it moves this way. That's exactly what we saw. Also, we can understand one more thing about force. What happens when I push it very hard? So I push it very hard, it moves very fast. And I push it softly, then it moves slowly. So we also know one more thing about force, that another thing about force even though there's no question on this, this is a bonus, okay? One more thing we know about force is more force implies more speed, okay? Does that make sense, all right? And uh, let's write it mathematically. The mathematical statement for this would be force is directly proportional to speed. This is the mathematical way of writing this particular statement. All right, so in the pretest, I asked you the same questions. Now, if you have gotten all these questions right, then, boy, have I something to teach you. Because guess what? It turns out that all this is wrong. Everything over here is wrong. Turns out universe 
does not does not behave this way okay it does not behave this way and the whole goal of these series of episodes is to make you understand why the universe does not behave this way so what's going on is the question i mean we figured these answers by doing an experiment but it turns out this experiment is not done very carefully and that's why we are getting the wrong results now if you also have the same intuition with you then don't be disappointed because everyone thinks at some point in their life that this is true only once you take a physics course you realize that this is not really true okay so next time what i'm going to do is so this was just an introduction to try to understand so I've, so the basic idea the goal of this episode was to make you understand how the universe doesn't behave that was the whole goal okay but next time if you stick around i'll tell you what i'm going to tell you next time so next time I'll first tell you why this does not work, okay? So why this is wrong, okay? And then if this is wrong, what is right? What is reality? So that's the next answer you're going to have. So you're going to say how the universe, how the universe actually behaves. And I'm going to tell you a secret. The way the universe behaves is given by a set of three laws, and we call that is Newton's laws. Okay? So, the secret is given by Newton's laws. So, we're not going to just accept Newton's laws. We're going to try and logically argue. I'm going to convince you and teach you at the same time why this is wrong and build up step by step towards Newton's laws. All right. So this thing is revolutionary. It's going to change your life because everything you think you know about rest and motion is wrong. So if you're as excited as I am, then I'll see you on my next episode. So stay tuned.